the Big 12 has, has given us uh, the game of the year already for this season. They gave us one last year, the, the great Texas-Oklahoma State game that went triple overtime in Stillwater, and this one went even two further. It's, uh, you know, the NCAA record is eight, and they were, they, were, they were getting there. They were getting within sniffing distance, but uh, it was just one of those games. It was such a big game for both teams because it was Baylor's first true road test where they were going to go out and play against a, a ranked team on the road, see what they were made of. And for Texas A&M, it was a huge game because they're coming off two losses, two bad losses, where they lost to Texas Tech and Kansas State were never in either game. Uh, so it was huge for both of them. And uh, it's one of those games that, uh, I, I, as great as it must have been for Baylor at the end of that game, and, and just the, the, the feeling exhilaration, you're so tired but so happy. But imagine what it was like in the other locker room to be Texas A&M coming out of that and uh, after five overtimes leave him with an L, and uh, that, that had to hurt bad. But for Baylor, uh, it, it just showed people that I think a lot of people, when they saw them come into the top 25, said, do these guys really deserve to be there? Probably, if you go by the letter of the law, they're not one of the 25 best teams, but the way the poll works, they moved up and had their chance. And to come up with a game like that in your first game as a ranked team, that was pretty impressive.